Then the Son of Man shall send forth his angels, and they shall gather out of his kingdom all things that have been in them which do iniquity, those are sinners, and cast them into a furnace of fire. They'll be wailing and gnashing of teeth. Then the righteous, then the righteous, you could be you could be made righteous by the shed blood of Jesus Christ through a humble repentance and faith being born again it's offered to you then the righteous shall shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of the father he who hath an ear to hear let him hear the bible says in Jude, behold yeah you need to repent repent or god's gonna destroy you yes god's gonna melt your middle finger right off too you wicked worker of iniquity god's gonna melt your middle finger right off repent yes. behold the lord cometh with ten thousands of his saints to execute judgment upon all and to convince all who are ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds which they have ungodly committed in all their hard speeches which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. These are murmurers, complainers, walking after their own lusts with their mouth speaketh great swelling words having men person in admiration for advantage. Yes, there's no mocking and scoffing. You won't even get a, a crystal geyser sip of water in hellfire. In Luke chapter 16, starting at verse 19, the rich man in Lazarus, yes, these people are known by their name. They both died and were buried. So this is what's gonna happen to you when you die and you're buried. You're either gonna go to one of two places. You're either gonna go to paradise with the Lord or you're gonna go in torment in hellfire where they'll be weeping and wailing and gnashing the teeth where the worm never dies, the soul never dies, and the fire is never quenched. The Bible says, lay a hole, lay aside all filthiness and superfluidity of naughtiness and receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your soul. But be ye a doer of the word and not a hearer only, deceiving your own self. If you be a hearer of the word and not a doer, you're like a foolish man who looks in the glass, who looks in the mirror, and when he walks away, he completely forgets what he looks like Jesus Christ said you have heard of them have said of old times thou shalt not commit adultery but I say unto thee whosoever looketh upon a woman in the lust after her hath committed adultery with her already in your heart if your eye causes you to sin pluck it out if you're looking at pornography pluck your eye out if your hand causes you to sin cut it off if you're being a hand homosexual cut your hand off if your hand causes you to sin, if your hand is causing you to get drunk, you better cut your hand off, Jesus Christ said, for it's better to enter life maimed. It's better to enter life with one hand than go to hell fire with both of your hands. That's what Jesus Christ said, where the worm never dies and the fire is never quenched. Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world, he could take away your sin. He could blot out your sin as far as the east is from the west. But you got to fear God and keep his commandments. By the fear of the Lord, men depart from evil. The fear of the Lord is a fountain of life. But there's no fear of the Lord in this wicked world. People don't fear the Lord. People will fear a, a, a man. People will fear a police officer. That's why when a police officer comes, oh, they'll stop at the stop sign for three seconds. Oh, you fear man, you don't fear God. But Jesus Christ said, fear not him that could kill the body. And then there's nothing more they could do. But I'll show you who you should fear. Fear him that not only has power to kill your body, but has power to cast both body and soul into hell fire. fire. Yes, I say, fear him. Fear Jesus Christ. This wicked generation, this wicked generation in Proverbs chapter 30, explains this generation to a T. There's a generation that curses his father and does not bless its mother. There's a generation who's pure in their own eyes. This wicked generation is pure in their own eyes. 
but not washed yet from their filthiness. There's a generation, oh, how lofty are their eyes. Oh, their eyelids lifted up, proud, haughty, high-minded. There's a generation, oh, how lofty are their eyes. And your eyelids lifted up. That's all I see. Anybody got a porno addiction? I bet most of you do. says in 1 Corinthians chapter 6 starting at verse 9 know ye not don't you know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God be not deceived neither fornicator so if you're having sex outside of marriage you're a fornicator nor idolater there's a lot of idolatry here in America, a lot of sports idolatry, a lot of 49er idolatry, a lot of uh, pro men in, in tights running a pigskin across a field idolatry. It's foolish in the sight of a holy and righteous creator. God, yes, people stand in, in front of their television screen for four hours, for four hours, cheering on grown men, cheering on grown men in tights. Trying to run a pigskin across a white line. That's how foolish this generation is. And you want to cheer on grown men in short shorts. You want to cheer on grown men in short shorts. Trying to throw a round ball in a hoop. You need to cheer on the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Amen. Jesus Christ. Fully God. Hey. Hey, don't mock God. Hey, that Mike Servin guy or whoever, he's a he's an actor. He's an actor. Yes, there's no actors here. No. The Bible says that Jesus Christ, he has a fan in his hand, and he's going to thoroughly purge his floor. He will gather his wheat into the garner, but the unfruitful, ungodly chaff are going to get burnt up with fire unquenchable. Or do you despise? Do you despise the riches of his goodness, forbearance and long suffering, not knowing that the goodness of God, it's the goodness of God that needed me to repentance, but because of thy hardness and your unrepentant heart, 
You're treasuring up unto thyself wrath in the day of wrath in revelation of the righteous judgment of God who will render to each man according hey, to their boy. works to them who by patience Only God's good, man. Yeah, you got a continuance in doing good, seek the glory, honor, and immortality, eternal life. But unto those who are contentious and do not obey the truth, you're going to get indignation and wrath, tribulation and anguish to every soul upon earth that do it evil. And to the Jew first, then to the Gentile. Yeah, some people, some people here in America and all around the world, they're like Satan's little puppet. Satan has them on a little puppet string. Yeah, here, smoke my weed. Here, smoke, smoke my cigarettes. Here, destroy your lungs. Yes, your daddy is a devil. God's gonna destroy you. Satan has you like a little puppet string. Satan has you as like a little puppet string. Yes, for God is not mocked whatsoever. Amen. So that he shall also reap. The Bible says that it's appointed unto men once to die. After this comes the judgment. When you die and stand before Jesus Christ, it's not mercy day on that day. It's not mercy day on that day. Hey, it's man. Be Are you making a collection? Your name yeah. Is yeah, I got you one right here. Written uh, in the Lamb's Book yeah, of Life. You're going to be cast into a prison. I know I had a porn addiction. I gave it up six years ago. Along with my cigarettes, along with the marijuana, along with the alcohol and the methamphetamines, I give it all up. And live while you still have breath in your lungs. Jesus Christ said, enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way, which leadeth to destruction. There are many which are beat, which go in the rest. The narrow is the way, the difficult is the way that leads to life, and there are few who be there. It was just a tactic. The Bible says, "Get your up strength in good times, for the power of your body. For scarcely for a righteous man will one die." You gonna go make a fire? You gonna go make a fire? We got a bundle of sticks there. You know what they call a bundle of sticks? A fag. I used to be a part of this world. I used to be a part of this wicked world. I used to sell them a while. Oh, I couldn't, I couldn't make enough money. It didn't matter. It didn't matter. It's vanity, vanity. It's all vanity. I used to be a part of this wicked world at one point in my life. Yes, I used to. I couldn't drive the Honda. I had, I had to drive the, the luxury vehicle. Yes, and I thought I was so cool driving my luxury vehicle. Oh, and putting the putting the sunroof down and, and playing the, the Bose entertainment system in my luxury vehicle. I thought it was so cool. But the only one who thought I was cool was myself and probably my wife. But unto God, it was foolish. It's foolish into the sight of a holy God. You're blowing out your eardrums. And you do these things because you, you, you need Jesus. You need Jesus Christ. You need to submit yourself to Jesus Christ. Resist this wicked things of the world. The, this music of the world is deceiving you. It's leading you astray. Look like an effeminate. I used to, I used to want to be tough. I used to want to, want to go and and, and and set trip on on other neighborhoods and and, and go get locked up and, and and go do certain things and and just be a, a wicked worker of iniquity. Because there's no peace. Thus saith the Lord unto the wicked. I had no peace. Whatever. So I had to Center. fill out the, the, the lust of my flesh. I always had to live out some adrenaline. I always had to feel some type of adrenaline to feel good. No greater high than right? the most high. There's no greater high than the most high of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hey, woo! Hey, it, it's a piece of metal and four wheels. It's a piece of metal and four wheels. Yes. How long will you simple ones love simplicity? How long will you scorner delight in your scorning? It has no eternal value. It's all going to get burnt up someday. It's all going to get burnt up someday. Jesus Christ said, Lay not up for yourself treasures upon earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt, and where thieves break in and steal. But lay up for yourself treasures in heaven, 
laid up for yourself treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doth not corrupt, and thieves do not break in and steal. Because where your treasures are, that's where your heart will be also. The Bible says that mockers and scoffers will come in the last days. But the Lord is not slack concerning his promise. As some men count slackness, but as long suffering towards us. That doesn't even nature itself teach you that it's a shame. It's a shame for a man to have long hair. Doesn't even nature itself teach you that? Yes. 1 Corinthians chapter 11. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but his long suffering to us, Lord. Not willing that any should perish, but all go to repentance. It right. That's not Jesus. That's a Roman Catholic idol. That's a Roman Catholic idol painting. Hey, I remember you from that from the uh, Comic Con. Yes, that you, you you're doing the works of your dad, the devil. I know, I know. Yeah. Notice I am. Yes, that's your daddy, the devil. No, you, your daddy is the devil, and you're doing the works of your dad, the devil. Yes, I already know. I already know. You were mocking and scoffing last week. Yes. And look, that's God's mercy upon you, that He still lets you breathe His air. God hey, bless you with that story. Hey. God bless you with those legs. God bless you with that air in your lungs. And what do you do? You use it to mock God. You use it to hail the one that's trying to kill you. You hail Satan. You hail a pedophile. You hail a rapist. You hail a, a mass murderer. You hail the one that's trying to kill you. And that's how foolish you are. Yes. Hey, how long will you simple ones love simplicity? Jesus Christ is Lord. John I and the God today. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world. Folks, this world is condemned already. It's obvious. Just look around you. Are you glorifying God? Well, then you're condemned. Are you obeying the gospel? Well, then you're condemned. If you are not confessing the Lord Jesus Christ and obeying his gospel, you are condemned. But you don't have to be. You can draw nigh unto God today. You can turn from your sins today. God gave you a free will. You can freely choose. It's that simple. You can freely choose to obey the gospel and resist all temptation, which God says in his word, he'll give you a way out every time. Or you can live in your temptations and sin against God and be cast into the lake of fire on the day of judgment. You know, our God is so awesome that he emptied himself of his glory and became a man. The Lord Jesus Christ. The one that we keep tied to. Amen. Hallelujah. What is more worthy than the Lord Jesus Christ? Nothing. God is so worthy of our life that the least thing that we could do is deny our flesh to pick up the word of God and obey it, which is to pick up your cross and follow Jesus. What is the greater thing to do? And when you find out, when you deny yourself and you pick up your cross and you give your life to the Lord, that Holy Spirit, that Most High, the, the, the one thing that you were created to be indwelled with is the Holy Ghost. That is what makes you life. That is what gives you life. That's what opens your eyes to loving the Lord, to loving your neighbor as yourself. For us to come out here and preach repentance and hellfire, is loving our neighbor more than any kind of love the greatest love is to tell your neighbor to turn from your sins are you turning from your sins today are you living in the world everybody that i see right now except maybe uh, uh maybe a few people that are just walking through some people just might be just walking through and uh and doing their life with their kids and their and their wives husbands bringing up their wives and their children up under the obedience of christ 
But most of you are children of the devil. Most of you are friends with the world. Most of you are adulterers and adulteresses. And you are friends with the world. And friendship with the world makes you an enemy of God. If you're a drunkard and you're hanging out in the bar, you're a drunkard. No drunkards have any inheritance in God's kingdom. My, the, the best love that I can do for my neighbor is call you out of your drunkenness and tell you to get sober, to give your life to the Lord. What's so wrong with loving my neighbor by telling him the truth? It's not hate to love your neighbor to tell them the truth about repentance. It's not hate to tell some woman if she's dressed like a harlot to cover up that your body is a temple and it belongs to the Lord first and then your husband. Your body belongs behind closed doors for your husband only. Nobody else should be staring at an immodest woman. If you are dressed immodest and you're a woman and you got your breasts showing and your butt showing through the clothing that you wear, shame on you. Shame on you for causing men to stumble. Well, today it can be either sex. You got men chasing men. For this cause, God gave them up unto vile affections. For even their women left a natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burning in their lusts, one for another. Men with men, doing that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error. Think about how disgusting that is. How unnatural that is. God got the word for that. It's an abomination under the Lord. But God's willing to forgive you of all sin if you but seek the Lord today. To seek the Lord is to turn from sin, to obey Him, to go and sin no more. Jesus Christ said that twice. Uh, God's going to burn that finger off, woman. Woman, God's going to burn that finger off. Today's a good day. Think about what you do before the holy and righteous God, and you're going to meet Him one day. Eternity is coming. Right now, you're on God's time. Right now, you are living by the breath of life that God provided for you. He's given you that time to give your life to the Lord, to repent, to draw nigh unto God. If you draw nigh unto God, He will draw nigh unto you. If you resist the devil, He will flee from you. Let your laughter return to mourning and your joy to heaviness. Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord and He shall lift you up. Are you being double-minded today? Are you living in sin? Do you go to church on Sunday and live like the devil the rest of the week? You're lukewarm. Are you lukewarm? We know you are, sir. We know you are. Idolatry. There's a lot of idolatry going on in this world today. Pride. Pride leads to destruction. Cigarette smoked, man. I used to smoke cigarettes. I give it up. I give it up because I knew I was destroying my temple and it belongs to the Lord. All temples belong to the Lord. All human souls belong to the Lord. You don't, you don't sell your soul to the devil. You give your soul to the devil in disobedience to God and His commandments. But God owns you. God's going to cast the devil into hell fire. And God's going to cast all sinners into hell fire. Unless a man is born again, you will not see the kingdom of God. What is being born again? Well, you got to deny yourself. Pick up your cross. Obey the gospel. Jesus Christ becomes Lord of your life. You, you turn from your sins. Literally, you repent. You go one way. You don't look back. Are you looking back on your sin? It's not a good thing to do. The Bible says if you don't hate your husband, your wife, your children, your brethren, even your own life more than God, what God is saying, you got to love God more. What's your first commandment? Nothing comes before God. What are you putting before God today? St. Patrick's Day? A little bit of booze, a little bit of cigarette, a little bit of marijuana, a little bit of fornication, pornography? What are you putting before God? Is your soul really worth a little bit of pleasure of sin? Is it really worth it? What about God in that kingdom? What about the kingdom of God that he's creating for you? That, that palace, that, that mansion in, in heaven that God is creating for you? God's been doing the last 2,000 years preparing a kingdom for those that believe and obey Him. For God so loved the world, right? Yes, He does. While we were yet sinners, God died for us. 
But today God commands all men everywhere to repent. God says to go and sin no more, so turn from your sins today, my friends. You're not a dog. Quit barking, man. You're a man created in the image of God, not a dog. Don't act like a dog. Dogs are unclean animals. Keep barking, man. Keep barking, man. Don't act. You're a dog. You want to act like a dog? Then you're a dog. The Bible says that you are to love the Lord with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. And these words that I command you this day shall be on your heart. You shall teach them diligently to your children. You shall talk to them when you sit in your house. And when you walk by the way. And when you rise up and when you lie down, you're to be about the gospel of Jesus Christ. What's your first commandment? Nothing comes before God. What? Come before what? Does anything come before the word of God? No, it don't. Nothing comes before the word of God. The commandment is to obey the gospel. And the gospel is the word of God. The gospel is the word that became flesh. It's living. If you're not worshiping the living word of God, which is Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, Yeshua, Mashiach, you're on your way to hellfire. But you can make that change today. You can choose this day whom you're going to serve today. You can stop being a friend of the world today. And you can start obeying a holy and righteous God. The Bible says without holiness, no man will see God. Are you living a holy life? Are you living a holy life today? Without holiness, you will not see God. Are you wanting to see God? Forsake your sins. God is holy. God is holy and without holiness, no man will see God. All have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. If any man says that he has not sinned, he is a liar and the truth is not in him. But the Bible says to go and sin no more. And when you decide to give your life to the Lord and you give your life to the Lord, the Bible says that we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. I know that I've made some mistakes, but my mistakes are not willful. They're ignorant. And when, I get an, when I'm ignorant, I bring every thought into captivity and back under the obedience of Christ. I give up my willful sins because I know what willful sin is, and that's the easy thing to stay away from. It's easy to not lust after an immodest woman. It's easy to not go out and get drunk. Even if I'm tempted to do it, it's easy to walk away what you know to be sin. The Bible says if you know it to be sin and you do it, to you it is sin. The Bible also says if you sin willfully after receiving the knowledge of the truth, there remains no more sacrifice for sin. Are you nummifying the blood of Christ today? Almost all things were purged in blood. But without the shedding of blood, there's no forgiveness of sin. Don't you think God is worthy of your life? That you can take every moment that you have of that mind that God give you and dwell on the gospel of Jesus Christ, dwelling on the word, which is dwelling on the Lord Jesus Christ, which is dwelling on the living. What is living? It's the word of God. That's all that is living. You have the breath of life because of the living God, because God formed you in your mother's womb. Regardless of how you were formed, regardless of how you were con uh, conceived in your mother's womb, God lovingly formed you in your mother's womb. If, it, if it's through rape, well, God is still lovingly forming that baby in that mother's womb. If you want to punish somebody, punish the rapist. Kill the rapist. Don't kill the baby. The baby is innocent. The baby is being was born innocent, and the baby has been given life by God regardless of conception. I know it sounds pretty terrible, but don't take your anger out and murder an innocent little child. God hates the hands that shed innocent blood. And a baby in the mother's womb is the most innocent blood that there is. Yes, God did create mankind, but God chose to sin against God, and that's man's choice, not God's choice. God does not encourage anybody to live in sin. God's word says to go and sin not. Plain and simple, God did not create sin. You are a pervert. You're probably a rapist, aren't you? Yeah, I bet you are. I bet you you're a pervert. I bet you like to watch porno, and, right? Don't you? We know you do. That's why you got a problem. You think you think you can blame God for your own iniquity? Uh, I'm afraid not. Your iniquity is your iniquity. It's not God's. Repent or perish, man. I mean, God... God loves you, man. All Give your life said, to the Lord. You, said was true today, uh, you know, the Bible says to deny yourself. What can you do before God to deny yourself? Will you give up your sin? 
What's the next thing to do? Once you pull that plank out of your eye, once you give up your sin, it's to go out into all the world and proclaim the gospel to every creature, preaching repentance, crying aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, tell the people about their sins and tell them to repent because the wages of sin is death. But there's this beautiful thing that Jesus did on the cross. He shed his blood for you and me, that innocent lamb, that if we give our life to him and obey his gospel, we can be set free from sin. Not set free in our sin, but set free from our sin. See, I love obeying the Lord. The greatest joy in life, the greatest hobby, the greatest work, the greatest thing that's in my heart, in my life, is the, to think about the obedience I, can, I do before the Lord. Did you know doing works meant for repentance is the one thing that God says to do? Faith without works is dead. Did you know that? Faith without works is dead. So if you have this faith, but your life is not reflecting the faith of God in obedience, your faith is dead. God didn't come to, uh, to let you live in sin and then to save you at the end. No, you love God like a husband would love his wife, right? You don't cheat on your wife. You don't look at other women in lust. You give everything you have to your wife. Except for this, you give everything to God and then your wife. And then your wife gives everything to God and then your husband. And your children, children to love their, their mothers and their fathers as Christ, you know, we're to be obedient unto our parents. But the first place that us as, uh, as, as a human being that are created in the image of God is we are to obey our Father in heaven. If you're not obeying your, the, the, the Lord of heaven, then you are of your father to the devil. Are you of your father the devil? Are you living in sin? Are you a drunkard? Are you smoking pot? Are you watching porn? Jesus Christ, one way, yes, amen. That's the only way we should salute. That one finger means one way, because Jesus Christ is that way. Two fingers, no, there's no two ways. The hanging loose, no. The thumbs up, cool, but no. It's one way, one finger, one up. Not the middle finger. That middle finger doesn't mean nothing. For I am not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God unto salvation to them that believe, to the Jew first and then to the Greek. You know, You know, the Bible says that our thoughts are not God's thoughts. Our ways are not God's ways. If you want to know God's ways, you got to go get yourself a Holy Bible. A King James Holy Bible and read it. The Bible says about itself that it is all inspired by God. It's God breathed. Holy men of old spoke under the inspiration of God. That's our word of God. That's our 66 books. Over 40 authors. Holy men of old spoke under the inspiration of God. Open God's word today. Read God's word today. Submit to the gospel of Jesus Christ today. Repent of your sins today, my friends. What can wash away our sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make us whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow that makes me white as snow. No other fount I know, nothing but the blood of Jesus, nothing but the blood of Jesus. Stop being friends of the world, my friends. Turn from the world. Friendship with the world makes you an enemy of God. Stop being an enemy of God. Repent today. Repent. Repent. Repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. Seek the Lord. Seek 
the Lord today. Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord, and He shall lift you up. Let your laughter return to mourning, and your joy to heaviness. Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord, and He shall lift you up. Stop living a pride of life. Stop being full of pride. Stop living for the world. You are not created to live for the world. You were created to glorify God. And God is a jealous God. God does not like it when you put anything before Him. But God gave you a free will. But you chose to rebel against God. When God wrote His laws on your heart, you still chose to rebel against God. On the day of judgment, you will know, you already know, because even though you are suppressing the truth and unrighteousness, it does not make it go away. Get right with God now, because when you stand before God on the day of judgment, you will have no excuse, and you know that you won't have no excuse. So repent, and those that mock the Lord, God will have the last laugh on them. That would be this guy right here. God's going to have the last laugh on this guy right here. This pervert right here. This guy's probably a pervert. I'd keep your children away from this guy. He looks like a pervert to me. You better repent, man. You better repent. Fools mock God. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that he even saved a foul-mouthed person like this to set him free from his sins. But this man loves his sins. And you know what? This guy's foul. This guy's a foul-mouthed pervert. That's what he is. He's a foul-mouthed pervert. You're foul-mouthed too. You should repent. God died for you. God died for everybody. God came to set us free from our sins. Don't live a sinful lifestyle. Quit justifying the wicked. He who justifies, who you condemns the just, and he who. What do you hey, want to say? You got your glasses at Home Depot. They're pretty cool. I actually found them on the ground. I found them on the ground, bro. And I, I picked them up. I like free stuff. Look like the gospel. Everybody the gospel is free. You look like you do, bro. Oh, yeah, I look sexy. I'll fuck no, my wife, bro. You look like a pervert. Let's see. Here, I'll let me let me give you one. Let me give you one of these. I'm gonna be fucking the shit out Here, read that. Read I'll that. Fuck that shit out, your girl, homie. Read that. Ah. I don't. Hang, I don't have a girl, man. I know you. Don't. I give myself to the Lord. Know, my body's a temple, and it belongs to the Lord. It doesn't belong to whores and whore like and whore mongers like you. Unless you're a homo. Hey, you you're probably a both. You're probably bisexual, aren't you? God bless you. God bless you, man. God bless you. 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 You're only good with God if you're obeying His gospel. Are you obeying God's word today? Are you obeying God's word today? God says to go and sin no more. Don't bring your kids out here to this filthy stuff. This is filthy. Seeing people across the street getting drunk with open containers. Don't you know that alcohol, drunkenness leads to hell? Don't you know these things? Don't you, know? Don't you know that alcohol being a drunkard leads to hell? My Pornography leads to hell. Loudmouth uh, guys like this lead to hell. Hey, he's of his father, the devil. He, he's, not he's, not ashamed, he's not ashamed of it. He glories in his own shame. Look at him. This is a man glorying in his own shame. Hey, God tells me to go out into all the world and preach the gospel of repentance to every creature, regardless whether or not you like it or not. This guy don't like it. So he's standing up for his father, the devil. That's what he's doing. He's standing up for his father, the devil. But you know what? Good for him. At least he's not a coward to stand up for what he believes in. I'm not a coward. I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says that no coward has any inheritance in God's kingdom. But this guy here has no inheritance in God's kingdom because he doesn't give his life to him. He wants to be foul. He wants to come out here and be foul in front of you. He wants to be foul in front of me. He wants to talk about me and give uh, false accusations. Hey, I love the Lord. I obey the Lord. I look at women as and, and men as the temples that belong to the Lord. God says to go into all the world and preach the gospel of repentance. That's what Jesus said. 
Uh, the Bible says, cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet on these highways and these byways. So that's what I'm doing. There you go. You got your answer, sinner. You got your answer, sinner. I'm a proud member of the Catholic Church. Keep your children away. I do not serve no Catholic Church. The Catholic Church is of the devil. I'm not uh, about the Catholic Church. I'm about the Lord Jesus Christ and, and obeying his gospel. I'm Bible believing, Bible obeying, born again Christian. Unless a man is born again, you will not see the kingdom of God. You got to get yourself born again. You got to become that light of the gospel. You got to become that gospel. The Bible says to be like Christ. Are you being like Christ? Jesus Christ is our example. Are you being an example unto the Lord by obeying his gospel? That's what God wants from you. He wants you to obey him. You know, the Bible says with some have compassion. With others, you got to reach into the fire and pull them out. So I know that I might be a little uh, on fire, you know, being a little harsh, but that's reaching into the fire and trying to pull you out of the fire. It doesn't mean that I don't love you. I do love you. I love you enough that I'm willing to tell you to turn from your sins or you're going to go to hell. If you're a drunkard, I'm going to call you a drunkard. If you're dressed like a harlot, I'm going to call you a harlot. It's that simple. The Bible says that's what you are. So why can't I say what the Bible says? Did you know the, uh, Jesus Christ called a whole nation whores? A whole nation. You think Jesus was all uh, cupcakes and, uh, and frosting? No, Jesus said to repent or you will perish. Jesus spoke more on hell than anybody combined in the word of God. So if God spoke more about hell, the, you know where Jesus talked about the love of God? J John 3, 16. And that was to one man, Nicodemus. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. How many people know that Bible verse? Well, you got to read the whole word of God. You got to submit to the whole word of God. You are not saved by John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already who do not believe on the name of the, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son. If you don't believe in Jesus Christ, you're condemned. But today's good news, man. You get to give your life to the Lord today. You can. It's a free will choice. You think being a drunkard's worth your soul? It's not. You know, it, 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 I don't really, like, I'm that type of preacher where if I was out walking around and I was living in my sin, which I was, I used to be out like all you living in my sin. If a cupcake preacher came out, I would have never listened to him. I needed to hear this hellfire, repent or perish preacher. That's what changed my life. That's what got me to turn my life around and give it to the Lord. Because the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. If you don't fear the Lord, you have no wisdom. But if you're obeying the Lord, you have no reason to fear the Lord. But it's good to have a fear of the Lord. It's good to fear God. Why? Because God's the one that's going to destroy both body and soul and hell. God is going to... What's up? What do you want to interview me for? For Jesus. Are you guys Christian? All of us. You ain't no Christian. What's the best time to eat booty, dog? <laughs> You don't know what tomorrow is like, but today is the day of salvation. Now is the appointed time. If you repent, God will honor you. So because of this, I'm going to hell. If you repent, God will honor you. Yeah, yeah. So because I... God's trying to help you, bro. You're destroying your temple. But he's got you. But he can answer your questions. I feel like we just all have different ideas on religion. I love God myself. I just feel like we have different ideas on religion. If you love him, you don't obey him. joke around. I do obey him. You're not you're smoking, man. The Bible says well, the you're modern, the, the temple. modern, the modern. God will destroy. Maybe. Maybe. That's what his word, that's what his word says. Repent. The repent means to, repent. to stop. To stop sinning. Repent means to sin no more. Yeah, no, look. Repent I smoke, isn't I smoke say, God, I'm sorry, month, you know? and then do it again. But either way, I love God. I do. I if you love him, you would obey him, man. I do obey him to the to a point, you know. But what to else? To a did point, Jesus you gotta obey him. We, what else did Jesus? Indefinitely, not gonna save you indefinitely, you gotta obey him, man. Maybe we'll Come see, on. bro. We'll see. Well, but don't wait until I just you die. Be That's too that late. I do love Jesus, and I'm figuring it, it out. You know, 
I go to church every Sunday, I'll be there tomorrow morning. I'll figure it out, you know. I'm working on that. Well, I hope you figure it out, Thank man. You, I hope God bless uh, you with repentance. Thank you. Hey, I love you, man. I want you I to love be saved. you, dog. And sinning is. I, I it's used something to be there. I'm I, it's something I, I'm I give up my sins. It's not hard to do. I think it's. I mean, it's unless you don't want to give it up, I guess. But I didn't want to give it up, but I give it up anyway. Yeah, it's the, it's, that's the struggle. That's the struggle. It is the struggle. Shout I know. God, I just would say, I love Jesus Christ, our Lord. Um, well, He did die for us. He is worthy to be loved. Exactly. Exactly. So he's, I think, he's so worthy I that he's worthy to, to just not do any of that. Exactly. That sin against him. Okay. I just think we can agree on that point that Jesus Christ is Lord died for our sins. Yes. And the rest will come. The rest will yeah, come. Yeah, give it. I'll figure it out. But you Maybe might not be you older, might not you know? be promised tomorrow. Who knows? Hey, I got a brother who died at a young age, and I got a sister who died at a young age. And they weren't right with God. They were living like you, man. If you die in your sin, you'll perish. I know. Okay, good. Hey, but either way, I just want to agree with you that. God is king. Jesus is king. He is king. You, can, you hear a lot of mixed up things in California. Yeah. As long as you can all agree on the basis, you know, we can learn to agree on everything else. I feel like. Uh, we only need to agree on one thing, and that's the scripture. Um, it's not our thoughts. It's not our ways. It's, just, man, it's the what the Bible says. The scripture was like beat into me as a kid, you know what I mean? So well, as growing up, I kind of deviated from it. Well, God's word is magnified above all things, so yeah. don't take nothing. Don't don't hate that. You know, if somebody just, might not have did it right, just, yeah, yeah, like but my own parents that's why you should just read the Bible for yourself. And, just, and I have read it for myself. I have a submit. copy at home. Good. I actually, once a week, I open it up and I like random page scripture for the day is my scripture you know so right i just believe that i believe in god's forgiveness and i believe in like you know you can live in this earthly body and make decisions that probably aren't best for a heavenly body you know as opposed to smoking things like that you know but who knows i firmly believe if i repent god will forgive me yeah but you got to repent though Exactly. And, re and repentance is not asking for forgiveness and, and then doing it again. It again yeah. Yeah. I'm saving, I'm saving, <laughs> yeah. I'm saving the repentance. Well, we are in the last days right trying now. Trying to figure so. it out. Man, yeah. the world is coming to an end, ain't it, bro? The yeah, world is crazy right now. I know, and you were being pretty crazy yourself. I know, I just thought it was funny. I was trying to, yeah, we got well, a YouTube channel. We're out here, like, the, uh, promoting today, so I was just screaming. Don't, don't, be, a, don't be a promoting thing so it make you a friend of the world, man. Yeah, definitely It not. might make you, it might make it where God will really harden your heart and not let you uh, repent. Well, I feel like, because you know, God we can does make give some you jokes. Up. We can make some jokes, but we can, uh... But God, those are the type of things that will harden your heart. Yeah, maybe, maybe. We'll see, bro. It's like we telling a little see. white lie, it's still a lie. I guess. I don't know if a white lie is really the term. I feel like it's more just All liars have their part in the lake of fire, you know, the burning like fire and brimstone. If God loves us all, then he loves comedians. You know what I mean? You know what and Bible us, we are too. comedians. We while do we were comedy. Yet, yeah. While we were yet sinners, God died for us, right? Of course. Jesus died for our sins, of but course. The Bible says, for God so loved the world that's cast in. Today, God calls all men everywhere to repentance. Yeah. And that God and you only, you, yeah. the Bible I, says that God, God it says he only loves them that obey him. So if people, if you're not obeying God, the Bible is clear that he doesn't love you. Uh, well, but just, you can I turn from like your sins and that can have exactly. sin. Exactly, I feel like it depends. I mean, he you know? loves you, but so if you sin against God. This way, if my worst sin is maybe smoking and drinking on the weekends, you know, where I live yeah, my normal day-to-day -day life. One sin will separate you from God for yeah, eternity. But it just, it depends, dude. I feel like. You can live a perfect life and deny Jesus, and that's all you it, it takes to, to. I always like to hear, like, a different perspective, too, because it really, like, opens my mind up to, like, a different world. You know, see me, I, I was raised Christian, Presbyterian. Whatever. Yeah, I don't know. So we have like different beliefs than like say what you are. What I'm you just are a Bible believing, Bible being born again yeah. Christian. And it's That's nice it. to hear a different perspective because who knows? Maybe I'll change my fucking life. Like who knows? Amen. Was, but anyways, bro, it was nice to. It I mean, was nice to, to, to see you in heaven and knowing this day, and then see you in heaven. Yeah, see you there, dude, bro. we'll be hugging dude, each other. I do love Jesus, and I swear, like no matter. You know, I, I know I was fucking around joking earlier, but whatever. I do like Jesus at the end of the day. I'm going to take these guys away from your guys and we're just going to go back. Right, God bless you, man. Jesus at the end of the day, that's my God. Fuck you. Keep winding up with hellfire tonight, bro. Keep winding up with hellfire tonight. Get right with God. God bless you. Get right with God. You don't have a blessing. You don't have a blessing. You don't have a blessing. See, sinners don't have a blessing. God bless you. God bless you. You're cursed. The wicked are cursed. We bless you with repentance. Yes. The wicked are cursed to God. The wicked are a curse. Bro, that Oakland A's guy was wicked. So if we're gonna be, uh, you know, sticking around, are we leaving? We rolling it up. Looks like we are. What? We're rolling it up. 
can't hear you. Are you rolling it up? Hey, you know what happened to me last night? Somebody come up to me and said something like, I said the, the F word, and I said, I didn't say, and I said the word. You said what word? The F word last night, right here. You did? Yes, I did. You better repent. I did, man. I stopped preaching and left. You better make no provisions for the flesh to fulfill its lust. Right. Dude, you know how much that grieved me last night? Good. It made me cry, dude. Yes, cry to God. So what's going on, bro? Do you need to go to the hospital? Saturday night. Mike, do you want to get a bite to eat after I drop him off? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll just sit in the parking lot and wait for you. You'll have to probably... Where we can go. We can go closer to my house. Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, if you think of a spot... I'm parked over the other Yeah, just shoot me, a, shoot me the address and I'll just go sit there and proclaim the gospel to myself. <laughs> I, can, I can kill hours and hours doing that. Matter of fact, I can sit in my car all day and just be in the Word. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I need to memorize it, though. We'll get there. I'm, I, I, no, I, I so, should already be there. No, it's, 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 there. it's as simple as uh, just, it's just doing it. Be I'm sure. not doing it. I'm just being in the Word. I'm not going over it and over it and over it. Keep doing it. Do that. Find, find a verse that you want to memorize and read it a hundred times until you get it. You know what I did? I got some sticky, I got some sticky notes. I already, John 3, 16 through 17. I got 18, 19, 20, 21. Right in my window with a stick it. So if I want to just go over the one verse, okay, I got that. I made a little video. <laughs> Post it. Hey, it's a good idea. You know it. All right, Mike, I'll see you back. For the wrath of God. God bless you, brother. I love you, brother. I love you, brother. With that, we're gonna call it a night. Jesus Christ is Lord. It's a good day to give your life to Him. So give it to Him.